How's it going everyone? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be going over the advanced uses of Twitter for OSINT reasons. Now I've never made a dedicated video on Twitter before. Um, it is a pretty powerful tool uh, but it's also um, a pretty powerful actual sh uh, piece of shit. Um, but it is pretty useful uh, when you're doing a live investigation on a particular event. And it's also a pretty useful tool for historical OSINT, trying to dig up things in the past. And I'll, be sh I'll show you some ways you can find maybe deleted tweets or conversations that might have happened in the past, uh, but the account no longer exists. Or the username might have changed. And potential ways for you to find the new username of an account if they no longer use that handle. So we're gonna be doing all of this live on my screen in a second. Um, I also have everything written on my whiteboard in the background. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get on my screen and do some Twitter searching stuff. Okay, so many of you know of Twitter. If you haven't used it before, maybe you can consider yourself blessed or lucky or whatever. Uh, but if you have used Twitter, uh, you might not know the amount of things you can do on Twitter other than just do a basic search um, and maybe throw things into quotes and stuff like that. So I'll get into all of that in a bit, um, but uh, I want to share some use cases. So my most recent use case outside of Trace Labs and stuff like that um, was Live OSINT, uh, which is something that I don't really do that much, but Live OSINT in my definition is gathering intelligence as it's happening. Uh, so the January 6th terrorist attack at the U.S. Capitol, that was like a prime example of why those sent people were posting stuff onto social media as they were committing felonies. Like, it's amazing. Um, but I was able to gather intel um, through various tools. I'll show those tools in a bit. Um, and you can also do historical uh, OSINT as well. So looking back in the past, uh, during like a specific time frame uh, to gather intelligence about a particular event. Um, and you can narrow that down by um, geolocation and stuff like that, as well as the kind of media that you're looking to find. Um, so I know that's a lot, so we'll cover all of that right now. So uh, first things first is I wanna cover the uh, standard search operators. Uh, and Twitter does a terrible job at <laughs> showcasing this. Uh, we've all heard about uh, Google dorking and stuff like that, but uh, Twitter dorking and GitHub dorking and stuff like that. We're not going to talk about GitHub in this video, but um, is a thing. They just don't, there's really not much out there for it. Uh, so they do have some search filters like you do find on like uh, on Shodan and stuff like that. Um, so the main ones we're going to be looking at today are the filters. So uh, we're going to be searching by filter media. We're going to be filtering out retweets. I mean, you can see all the stuff right here. We're going to filter by... Uh, video images and stuff like that. We're also going to be using uh, the from and sense all that so we could narrow down our search to a specific time. Uh, we're going to use filters. We're going to filter out stuff. Um, and I, Twitter says this is standard search operators. I don't know if there's like an advanced search operator uh, thing in here. I've never seen one, but if there is one, that's cool. Uh, so I'll make sure to put a link to this down below. Um, so there's that wanted to get that out of the way. So, uh, let's just get into using some of these filters. Um, I mean, um, so let's pick a, uh, let's use January 6th as an example. Um, I mean, that is a historical event, so we can go back in time, filter everything down like it's happening right now, but everything's in the past and we're not going to get any live updates. So if we go to, to Twitter real quick and we just do a, very basic search. Um, if we do January, I always misspell January 6th, by the way. I, or not January 6th, but January. I always screw that one up. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't care how far I get in my career. I will never spell January correctly. So January 6th. So if we look up January 6th, basically the way Twitter is going to feed you back results is initially they're going to just give you uh, the top results and they're going to be searching things that m they believe will pertain to what you're looking for. But in theory, they're just going to be searching January as its own search term and sixth as its own search term. 
but more than likely, especially for something as large as that event, they're going to give you pretty much what you want. But if you look for something more niche, it's going to search those independently and give you those results. Now, if you want to show this up as an individual string, uh, you'll just put these in quotes. Again, this is a common practice on GitHub and Google dorking. So if you want something that literally says January 6th, throw it in quotes. Uh, if you want to find tweets that don't say January 6th, I'm 99% sure I'm going to get an error with this because it's a giant, <laughs> it's a big search query. Uh, you're going to get an error and all that. I expect that. Um, but you would use something like January 6th. And then if I was to look up uh, the term proud boys or something like that, um, it should throw back results that don't say Jan January 6th, but say proud boys. So um, it's the same sort of thing you can do on Shoday and all that. Uh, you can look up January 6th. Uh, and then minus Proud Boys, uh, and then that will give you results that say January 6th, but doesn't say Proud Boys in it. Um, or you can remove that minus uh, feature right there and give you results that say Proud Boys and January 6th. Um, so you can see in here, we got results that say Proud Boys, and it's kind of highlighted right there, it's bolded, and then January 6th. And you'll get all of those results uh, just like that. So that's just a very basic Twitter search. So Quotes are very powerful, um, and I'm sure many of you knew about that. So with that, let's get over to the Twitter advanced search. Now, um, the, the, the advanced search builder is pretty good. It gives us most of what we need, but it's not complete. And there's a giant portion of it, especially for live OSINT, that it does not give us, which is geo-based tweets. So we'll click on more at these three dots on the top and go to advanced search. Now, this will basically allow us to build out the search that we want. Um, they have, I mean, they give you examples of what everything does. So I'm not going to mansplain this to you. Um, but this gives you plenty of options, filter out stuff, all that. Uh, down here, we can put uh, tweets coming from specific accounts uh, or uh, tweets going to a specific account. So another example use case is if you're on an, an executive protection team, um, which is a thing, um, uh, cyber executive protection team, you can filter tweets going to the executive you're looking to um, to protect. You can also search by terms mentioning uh, any nicknames and stuff like that. Just see what people are tweeting at that individual. Uh, but if you're more curious about what a particular individual has said, so we can do uh, from CNN, uh, we'll do all of these words. So we'll do NCOV. Um, for the C word uh, that I don't want to get demon demonetized from. And then we could do engagement. So this is a great way to filter out bots and stuff. I've noticed that a lot that bots like to retweet each other for some reason. I don't know why, but you can add that stuff in there. And then this is the next portion that I really want to touch on, which are the dates. This is allows us to filter out by specific dates. So if we do um, January 1st, uh, 2020 um, to G February 1st, 2020. Uh, we could see tweets coming from CNN that say that particular word. So if we click on latest, um, we don't see anything. So from CNN, we don't really have anything here. Let's see. So from CNN, uh, we could see all their tweets coming from that particular time. So they might have never tweeted about the C word uh, during that time. I don't know when the C word was actually announced or anything like that, but we can see that here. Um, now, if we put in like uh, the city of interest, uh, there we go. So we could see some tweets right here coming from CNN that mentions the what we're looking to find. So... That's pretty nice, um, and that's using historical searching. Now, the one bit, and there's a couple bits that the advanced search doesn't actually give us, uh, are filters uh, and as well as geotagged. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So we'll go back to the search operators right here, and we, we can see right here we have these different filters. We have filter media, we have native video, and we have images. So those are the kind of the ones that I want to kind of focus on. So 
uh, you know, we can filter by Vine and stuff like that. That's just going to be coming from Vine, rest in peace. Um, but we'll do filter just media, just in general. So we'll do this. So we'll do filter media. And then here is a bit that they don't add, and that's going to be geo-based. So we're going to do, um, uh, I think it's, is it from, or no, it's near. So that's a tag or filter right there. So near Seattle, and then we put in a radius. So 50 kilometers, 10 kilometers, whatever. So in the case of January 6th, I did filter media uh, near, and I believe it was just Washington. Washington, comma DC. I, I, I forgot the way I narrowed it down, but we'll just do Seattle for now. Uh, uh, within 10 kilometers. And then we'll click on latest. So you can see... Bro, what? I'm sorry. I was That was 10 seconds. Y'all wild, man. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all of these tweets we see right here are um, very interesting and surprising. Eh, I don't know. It's Seattle. Uh, <laughs> Lord, man. People doing um, these tweets are coming from the Seattle area within 10 kilometers. I don't know where Twitter decides to make the epicenter of a city. I believe you could do by geo base, like actual coordinates. Um, but I'm just gonna go near Seattle within 10 kilometers, and we could see latest tweets, bro. Get that out of here. Um, and I'll just be like a live feed, so that one's pretty, pretty helpful. Filter media, we could do uh, native underscore video, I believe. This will just give us the results of videos um, near Seattle. Dude, what are you doing? What is this person? No. No. Um, so, yeah, we got we got all that right there. So, uh, we, we covered, and I'm looking at my... Thing right here so we covered live or uh, use cases filters available um quotes twitter advanced search and all that so uh let's get on to the next portion of this and that's just some tools that i've used in the past so tweet deck uh y'all probably have heard of tweet deck but if you haven't i'll show you that real quick so tweet deck is pretty nice um you can and you could see that i still have my uh searches from the uh, January 6th event, um, you can see that I have filter verified. So any tweets from verified individuals near Washington within five kilometers that shared a photo. So I'll just do this real quick. So we have verified accounts right here near Washington, DC within five kilometers. Uh, filter verified near Washington, filter native video. So I had uh, tweets coming that were videos. Um, if you want to filter out verified accounts, you just put a minus and then you get, bro, what are people on, man? Stop. Fucking don't do that on Twitter. You can't get anything done because y'all freaking horny. Um, but yeah, and then you can, you can add different cards in here, um, or different columns and you can, you know, do whatever you want with that. But that's tweet deck. Uh, you can have different streams, different searches uh, getting filtered out at the same time. So with that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of um, trying to find old account names and trying to find the current accounts. Um, this one's going to be pretty tough. I think the only option that I have is searching for me. Look up Arco. And Arco doesn't show up in any of these results, but you can see my new account. I delete delete them frequently. Zero X for RKO. Let's see. So yeah, I look up Arco. And if I still have my tweets there, if I didn't delete them, you'd see that my new handle is Twitter support and not 0x4rko. Um, so I guess that's a bad example, but that's what you could do if you have. Basically, what I'm getting at is if you have the uh, uh, 
uh, a username that's been used and then they have since changed it and they don't have like anything on Twitter, um, go ahead and just, if you're able to, you'll see that it says replying to Twitter support. So the replying to bit is dynamic and it will change with the new username, but the results of the old username will still show up. So I looked up 0x for RKO doesn't show up in here if i don't if i didn't delete my tweets like every three months uh it would show up there but uh you're able to do that so anywho i think that's a pretty good video on twitter so anyways if y'all enjoy content like that please hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you get notified anytime i post a new video uh, again, po uh, approaching 10K, just released a new video, why you should not patch everything. Um, so give that video a, a watch. And uh, yeah, um, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.